हेलो एवरीवन वी हैव अ गुड न्यूज फ्रॉम द आर एफ सी एल दैट इज रामा गुंडम फर्टिलाइजर्स एंड केमिकल्स लिमिटेड दिस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन रिलीज अ वेकेंसी एंड वन थिंग मोर देर विल बी नो रिटर्न पेपर एंड देर रिक्रूटमेंट आर प्योर ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ इंटरव्यू ऑनली सो दे आर नो रिटर्न पेपर नो गेट स्कोर इज बेसिकली रिक्वायर्ड फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर वेकेंसी माई डियर सो हाउ मेनी वेकेंसीज आर देर एंड इन विच डिपार्टमेंट सो लेट मी गिव यू द ब्रीफ आइडिया अबाउट दैट so position we can say that for the engineer senior manager chief manager deputy manager so we have e1 to e7 there will be the some different vacancy in some different category my dear friend for the general in engineer right in the chemical branch two vacancies are basically there or in the overall if you i will discuss five vacancy for the chemical for the engineers senior manager two vacancies chief manager one and for the deputy manager right deputy general manager one vacancy is basically there right In the same thing in the mechanical department, if I will talk about, then two vacancy for the engineers. Even generally, a student having the one year of experience and completed the B Tech with the sixty percent and above that, they are eligible for the engineers only, right? So two vacancies are there for the manager one, for the senior manager one, for the chief manager one, and for the deputy general manager one vacancies is basically there. For the electrical, for the engineers two, and for the chief engineer one. For the instrumentation, for the engineer two vacancy, and chief manager uh, for the material science also there will be the one vacancy a few vacancies are there in the civil department also uh, there were the some back vacancy apart from this for the information technology also there will be the one vacancy for the engineers e1 grade having the one vacancy assistant manager one vacancy manager with e4 having the one vacancy senior manager having the one vacancy my dear one thing more i want to tell you if i will discuss about this particular thing let me discuss the one more important thing here the all the recruitment is going to be fulfilled without any written paper only you have to submit all the documents sir so whether uh, which type of document is required whether the experience is required for the particular department yes definitely for the engineers my dear friend uh, you can say that the for the engineers one year of experience is required and 16 year of in, in, uh, uh, we can say that experience is required for the manager like that it is going to be happen let me give you in the detailed version of that what should be the pay scale for the engineers my dear friend for the e1 40000 to 1 lakh 40000 that is the pay scale is going to be happen for the e2 50000 to uh, 1 lakh 60000 for the e3 60000 to 1 lakh 80000 for e4 70000 to 2 lakh e5 80000 to 2 lakh 20000 for e6 90000 to 2 lakh 40000 and for the e7 1 lakh to 2 lakh 60000 that is called ctc is approximately 32.49 lakh one thing more i want to tell you sir what should be the eligibility criteria for that so my dear friend for the chemical a student who are basically applying for the engineers they should have a b btech or bsc in chemical engineering or chemical technology apart from this they have the experience of the one year also in the domain of anomi uh, right ammonia or you can say that urea plant or the petrochemical plant or the petroleum a uh, refinery oil so like that in the relevant field you have uh, experience right and one year of experience you are able to you are eligible for it if you are applying for the senior manager you should have the 16 year of experience if you are applying for the chief manager you should have 20 years of experience and if you are applying for the deputy general manager you should have 23 years of experience right similar this type of experience is required into the all the department right and you can say that whether in the electrical mechanical all where the experience are basically the same right requirement of the experience are basically the same we can say that okay for the information technology be in btech in the computer science or computer technology or information technology or mca student are also eligible for it if they have a one year of experience in deployment troubleshooting of the business application preferably in oracle database or sap or erp right platform or network management you are eligible for it right sir how we are going to fill this particular form so my dear friend you have to fill this form right online after that you have to take the print out of it and then that print out you have to send to the location which is mentioned or address which is mentioned in this particular form what is the location address where we have to submit all the relevant document and what should be the last date of this let me discuss these th things also guys one thing more i want to share before going to that there will be the application fees also associated for filling the form right for the e1 to e4 700 and for e5 to e7 1000 rupees you have to 
uh, you have to pay. The eligible in interested candidate are required to apply online on the 12th of March and the last date is 10th of April, right? And you have to go to the www.rfcl.co.in and there in the career, you will get the notification. You have to fill the form. One thing more, after the successful submission of the online application form, the candidates are required to take the printout and online application form and send it to the self-attested attested copy or to all the requisite supporting document in fulfillment of the eligibility like education qualification, experience, caste certificate, PWBT, whatever the certificate, everything is basically required. You have to, uh, you have to send to the application for the post of like this in RFCL and address is basically given like deputy general manager, HR, I slash she, right? Uh, the address is basically given. You, you have to send this particular thing. Take the snapshot for it also, right? And that, that application should be, right? Uh, before the last date, that should be, you can say that accepted or that should be uh, received by the RFC. After that, my dear friend, do, they will screen and they will screen your, you can say that according to whatever the document you have submitted. So according to the document, they will shortlist the candidate for the interview. And after the interview, there will be the medical and then there will be the join. So this is the complete process. There will be the no written paper is basically related for this particular vacancy. So whether you are eligible or not, please in, uh, confirm this into the comment box or whatever you guys having the query, you can ask into the comment box. Till that, thank you very much. All the very best. Jai Hind, Dostan.